Hi guys, if you've been asking for my thoughts recently on these two right here, the time has finally come. I am reviewing for you the Lorac Unzipped Gold Eyeshadow Palette and the Lorac Unzipped Cheek Palette. I've used these a few times now, so I have a pretty good grasp on my thoughts on them. And right now, I'm just going to tell you so you guys can predict in your head one of these I like and one of these I don't really like or I don't really care for it. So right now, make your prediction and let's get started with the eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of the palette looks like and I believe this is a permanent eyeshadow palette and not limited edition. This is the second installment basically of the Lorac Unzipped series and the first one was a little bit more of a cool rosy eyeshadow palette and I don't own that one so I'm not going to be comparing this with the original Lorac Unzipped palette. I'm just going to be giving you guys my thoughts on what I think of these based on my experiences with the Lorac Pro palettes and just eyeshadow palettes in general. Is this worth the money? So before I get too far into it, I'm just going to tell you right now that this eyeshadow palette is the one that I was not a big fan of and I liked the cheek palette. As you can see, it comes with 10 eyeshadows and four of them are matte and the rest are shimmer. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of this eyeshadow palette is because I think I can say that I only like two of the eyeshadows in this palette and that is not a good ratio. I may be a little bit picky, but considering this is a $42 palette and I have some drugstore eyeshadows that I absolutely love, I think I'm allowed to be a little bit picky when it comes to the way that these swatch and the way that they apply. I really do like Unafraid, which is this shimmery dark brown on the bottom right hand corner. And then this one in the middle on the bottom row. I love this one and this is called Unleashed. That is what I'm wearing on my lids right now. And it's this really beautiful foil copper shade. The rest of them can look a little bit splotchy and they don't really have a lot of pigment. For example, this matte dark brown right above the one that I like, that one is not pigmented at all. It's really hard to apply and I really like my dark matte shadows. These lighter shades up here, I feel like it's more glitter than actual pigment. And I do like this shade over here. So I guess I should say I like three shades, but this one's kind of like, how can you mess that up? It's a really light matte color. There's a lot of fallout with this palette. It's very powdery. So as soon as I dipped my brush into some of these shadows, the powder was going everywhere. I had to clean this area up because this darker shade, Unleashed, was getting all over the palette. Otherwise, the packaging is very sleek. It's very slim. It's just like the other Unzipped palette, I believe. It's actually just like the Lorac Pro palette as well. I was able to work with it just fine and I'm still going to continue to use it. I'm not gonna return it. I'm not going to just set it aside and not use it at all. But because I wanted to review this for you and let you know if it's worth the money, I'm gonna say that it's not really something that I would recommend. I wouldn't suggest running out to your Ulta right now or running to your computer and ordering this right now online. It's just not one of those must-haves for me. But if you're an eyeshadow palette junkie, then this might be something you wanna just add to your collection because it does have its pros. You know, like if you really like those warm, golden foiled colors, then this might be a fun one to play with. But like I said, the lighter shades over here are a little bit more glitter than anything. I Unlocked is okay, it's a really, really light, uh, shimmery shade and I applied a little bit in my inner corner. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if you did get this. It's just, I don't know, not something that I was crazy about. I'm not really crazy about it now. I'm probably not going to be crazy about it a month from now. Now I'm rambling, so let's just move on to the next one. This is the Lorac Unzipped Cheek Palette. Lipstick came with it right here. I think it's called the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick. I don't own any of these. This is the shade Girl Next Door. I have actually yet to use this, which is bad because I should have been trying this out too. But it's not really a shade that I thought I would really care for. It's kind of like a corally pink. And although I'm wearing kind of a peachy shade right now, I don't usually go for this type of color. And I'm wearing a coral shirt right now too, so I don't know what's going on. But that does come with the palette. This is a $30 cheek palette. It does come with four blushes right here and they are beautiful. This is also pretty powdery stuff so that's something to keep in mind. It's not a big deal with blush but you know just so when you start dipping your brush you're not like what the heck there's powder everywhere just giving you a heads up. 
So this one right here is what I'm wearing today and it's called Underrated. It's a very pretty muted pink and I think it's one of those pinks that can go with any type of makeup look. And this one is not powdery. Down here I think is the one that's really powdery. It's called Unimaginable. This one down here is also really pretty. It's called Unapologetic and it kind of reminds me of Maybelline's Master Highlight in Mauve, like if you mix all the colors together, but it's not as shimmery as that one. This shade is matte. This one also looks matte, but if you look really closely, there's itty bits of silver glitter, but it's not really something to worry about. It's not like NARS Angelica where the silver glitter is pretty prominent. This one down here is a shimmery peach, and this one also looks like it's a little shimmery, but not as much as this one over here. I think the pigment of these blushes is really good. They last all day on my cheeks, and the way that I like to apply these is I use a Real Technique stippling brush, so I pat, pat, pat that on the apples of my cheeks. I really like it, and this one I think was worth it. Originally, I didn't think I was going to get these, but... You yeah, know, Instagram. And that is it. Those are my thoughts on these two palettes right here. Let me know in the comments what you think of these, if you did get them, or if you're on the fence about them. Let me know what you think now. Maybe you actually decided right now in this video if you're gonna get it or not, or you're still on the fence. Let me know either way in a comment. I'd love to read them. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.